Yo, what's going on, TV3 fam? Hashtag it, Google it. We everywhere, just look it up. Today is going to be a different type of video, but still basketball related. Now, a lot of people have their theories on, oh, what should LeBron do this offseason? What, where is he going to go? I want to make my own video of that. Being a LeBron fan, a some, I mean, sometimes biased LeBron fan, you say what you want. But I do have two theories that I think could work out. And here they are. Theory number one. LeBron stays in Cleveland. Now, here's this theory. There are rumors that the Cavaliers are interested in trading for Kimball Walker. Now, hear me out. I always say Kimball Walker is a is a budget Kyrie. He can score like Kyrie, lay up, shoot. Uh, the great finisher. Um, great handles like Kyrie. He's a budget Kyrie, just shorter. Now, with that being said, I know just having LeBron and Kyrie in 2017 wasn't enough to beat the Warriors. That's why I'm suggesting that they either draft Trey Young or Marcus Porter. Now, they're sitting in the eighth spot, and it's a it's a lot of weird things going around with this going around with this five to five to eight spot. You know, it's a lot of moving pieces. I think Trey Young would be a great addition if they don't get Kemba. The narratives on Trey Young, great shooter, can't play defense that good, it's very undersized. But I have faith in Trey Young. Trey Young could be that diamond in the rough for the Cavs if LeBron stays. If LeBron leaves, I don't care. No, I don't care about the Cavs. They do what they want. Now Michael Porter, it's ne negative narratives on him as well. Him being uh, not durable, you can't trust him. You know, health-wise, injury-wise. And that, that was the same narrative that was painted on Joel Embiid, which is why he went third instead of first back in his draft class. But you have to think, Joel Embiid now is the best center in the league. So I've, although those narratives may be true and they do hold negative impact, you still have to give that player that, their props for being, for being in the, the top-ranked talks in the first place. So Michael Porter... He could be a great addition if they do get Kimba. Now I don't see the I don't see the Cavs drafting Trey Young if they get Kimba in a trade. But if they do, they that would be shocking to me. I do see them drafting Michael Porter if they get Kimba Kimba Walker in a trade. That but I don't know if that's enough to keep LeBron interested because he he's probably looking at it as two more young people that that you know that hasn't really proved anything. Even though Kimba he has a lot of accolades in his career. But he still hasn't proved anything. So, for that theory, I'm going to go with... I think they will be better better molded if they have Kimba and Michael Porter. But that the Michael Porter injuries is still holding me back as well. Because I'm thinking like... I mean, if LeBron is making this big decision to stay here, are we going to trust this dude getting injured again and keep that, you know, keep that same narrative? So, I don't know. My theory... Number two is LeBron joins Kyrie in Boston. Now, I know some people might not like that because they say that Kyrie didn't want to play with LeBron in the first place. I don't think that's true. I don't, I mean, Kyrie never said that. I think it was more of like a, a situation where LeBron didn't, didn't, back then LeBron wasn't confessing to, you know, he wasn't committed to staying. And I think Kyrie didn't want to be there, you know, with them trash players like LeBron is now. So Kyrie was like, give me a body here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it was just the, the front offices and maybe it wasn't the I don't want to play with LeBron James thing. I don't believe that's true. The media won't you believe that's true. It's, it's hard for me to believe. But, hey, you know, people going to believe what they believe. But if he joins Kyrie, they will have to get rid of some people. And this brings me to my favorite part of this list. We're going to have to get rid of Terry Rozier. Get him out of here. Get Terry Rozier out of here. The reason I say get Terry Rozier out of here is because they have Marcus Smart. Now, Marcus Smart, here's the thing with Marcus Smart. He's a great player, great defender, great passion, great hustle. He can score when he wants. He can play make. That's the, he's a perfect build for a backup for Kyrie. But the thing is, he believes he's worth more than what, 12 or 15 million dollars? And I don't know their 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 financial situation over there in Boston, but hopefully that they're able to work that out when LeBron comes. 
I'm gonna speak it into existence. So yeah, either they get they gonna get Terry Rosier out of here. So go ahead, get him out of here. We get rid of Gordon Hayward. Why get rid of Gordon Hayward? His contract's too big, and he's coming back from a major injury. And I really don't even think he's worth he's worth the contract that he has. I mean, he's a good player and all. I just don't see him there. I say get rid of Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, to the Cavs or wherever. Get rid of them free free uh, to free up cap space. The thing is, the major piece on the chessboard is Kyrie. He hasn't confessed. Well, he said he's not gonna, you know, sign this year because obviously he wants that new money. <laughs> you know, that new new. But he wants that new money. You know, he doesn't want to sign for old money and then the cap gets raised and he's, you know, under old money. That's the smart move. But he didn't say he was signed with the team for no money. He just said, you know, he don't want to talk about his future, about the team. He just want to win and play now. And that's cool and all, but that still leaves the thought in the back of your head like, dang, if LeBron comes here and he's commit, he commits, because, you know, when LeBron signs, it's going to be for like three or two years, maybe even more. But if he signs there and Kyrie hasn't committed, then what was the point of coming here if I came here for Kyrie's help? <sighs> so... Those are my two theories. And side note, I don't see LeBron going to the West. Doesn't make sense. If he's trying to get better to beat the Warriors, why go to the West to play the Warriors before the finals? That doesn't make sense. Him going to Philly doesn't make sense. Ben Simmons is in the way. Why have two of the same player? Ben Simmons, I mean, LeBron needs shooters. He doesn't need another him. You know what I'm saying? LeBron going to the Rockets, I, I don't know. I think people with that theory, they're just trying to force a super team. Who else? Uh... Brown to the Lakers. Now, I wouldn't mind Brown to the Lakers, but still, the West part of it. Why play the Warriors earlier when you can stay in the East and play them in the finals? It just makes more sense to me. So, I don't know. Tell me your comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at TheRealTB3. TheRealTB3. My Twitter is TheRealTB3. Tweet me. You know, I want to I wanna start conversating with you guys more. So, tweet me at TheRealTB3. Uh, follow me on Snapchat if you want. ClutchTB3. Clutch. TV3, that's it. And yeah, guys, just let me know what you think in the comments. I know y'all got something to say. You ain't watched this whole video and ain't got nothing to say, especially with about and it's about LeBron. Go ahead and comment down below. On that note, I'm out, y'all. See y'all tomorrow for some draft videos. And I got a little surprise for y'all. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm out, y'all. Peace.